Okay, so Mr. Anxiety is back, and I refer to anxiety as a man because it's annoying and a pain in my ass. Anxiety to me, by the way, is when I wake up in a panic, and it's not like a sweaty thing. It's not like a <gasps> thing. It's internal where my heart feels very heavy and I have knots in my stomach and it only ever occurs in the morning, always. And I'm always waken up by it. Anxiety for me always happens because of money, always. Um, there could be like other factors of that, like this is not true, but if I were really sick, my anxiety wouldn't be because I'm very sick, it is because I'm thinking how am I going to afford caring for myself? <laughs> I guess that's a very specific American problem though. Actually, I need to knock on wood about that because the way my year is going, that could actually very well be a possibility. This happened with my debt. Like I would wake up every morning for months with anxiety until I decided to do something about it, which was put together a budget, start paying off my debt, and then my anxiety went away. This anxiety I think is twofold one, we finally found tenants, so yay. But because of that, it's making me realize that I actually don't know how much we're gonna have to pay for property taxes, and we haven't saved up any money for that. So that's that, it is 6 a.m. So I am going to hopefully, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm sorry, I'm going to play a little, not Animal Crossing, I'm gonna play a little Hello Kitty Allied Adventures right now because I feel like it's too early to do literally anything at this time. Play Hello Kitty for a little bit, wash my face, go downstairs, and we're going to knock some things off my anxiety-inducing list. Our fridge is never ever this full so last night we just hosted two of our friends that couldn't go home because their cat isn't feeling well so we had prime rib um, mashed potatoes creamed corn cream spinach one of our guests made this really good like banana thing for dessert and then I made um, Popo's famous spinach rolls. We actually have, this is full. I meant to give this to Brian to give to his parents, but I forgot. <sighs> these are so good. These are always a hit. I'm gonna make these also for my vision boarding party, which is happening in exactly one week. So I'll probably eat this tonight as well, so I don't have to make anything. And then for Thanksgiving dinner for the dogs, I made them some meatloaf. Spinach rolls and sparkling water for breakfast. It is the holidays. So we're gonna figure out property tax. That's number one. Health insurance, ugh. I've actually been very much considering going to Mexico to get dental because the woman I go to charges 250. And I don't have dental, obviously. And then I also heard I don't know, I, th I saw a TikTok about someone who traveled to Taiwan to get a full medical done, blood work, MRI, x-rays, all of it, for like $1,000. So I was thinking of that too. The more I live in America, the more I realize I don't know if I really like being here. <laughs> but we're not moving. 
2024 is my slow year. The last thing I need to do is like move to some other country. <laughs> Don't worry, we would bring you too. You'd be international doggies. Focus Asia. Cancel Houston Utilities. These are the three things, or actually these are the two things I want to accomplish today, or try to, it is a holiday, I assume. Friday after Thanksgiving, is it a holiday? I don't know, I work every day, so I have no idea. Let's see if I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put on some lo-fi music and like try to concentrate. I feel like my ADHD just gets worse as I get older. I'm still in my pajamas. No, I don't care. Today was a good day. It was a very, very, very productive day. Productive day. Once I put on that lo-fi music, I was off to the races. I finished everything on my to-do list. I found out how much we owe in property taxes for this year, which is due on January 31st of next year, which is a good thing I found out because I would have assumed it would have been just due on tax day for some reason, but glad I figured it out. And it was about like $2,900 we owe on the house. So I was worried it was gonna be like some huge number that we were just not gonna be prepared for, but fortunately um, we're in a space where we could afford that now. That made me feel better. I finished editing all the things I needed to edit. Uh oh. I spent a very, very long time trying to contact a lot of the utilities for our house in Houston. A lot of them weren't closed and I couldn't do it on the computer. So I have to call a bunch of places back on Monday, but something I did realize, so in Houston, we have AT&T for, um, Wi-Fi and I called to cancel it obviously. A few days ago I was talking to my neighbor who has AT&T and I just remember that and I was texting my neighbor when I was on the phone with this AT&T girl and asked her how much she's paying in Wi-Fi because we pay here for Spectrum, we pay 500 megabytes I think, that's the terminology, for $104. And my neighbor texted me back and she has 500 megabytes with AT&T for $60. I saved some money today. I didn't spend a dime. I didn't buy anything for Black Friday, but I saved us some money. I got a check in the mail today. Um, remember the guy who broke into our, tried to break into our house in Houston? Well, he was obviously found guilty because we have it on camera and he gave us our restitution money. And then another thing I got in the mail that I have been waiting for a long time for because it actually came from Canada is this. This is a C. Buckthorn Best Skin Ever is the brand name, but I recently started using it as um, a cleanser to cleanse my face. I'll wet my face, put oil on my face, use, I use like reusable uh, rounds to wipe the oil off. And then I'll do my vitamin C or I'll do my daily retinol. And then I'll use this as an oil on top of that. And I just like feel really moisturized. Again, our goal is to stay moisturized and then also um, try to lessen that hyperpigmentation on my skin. So um, this is the largest bottle that they have and I can just keep on refilling my pump that I bought originally. So I've been waiting for this for about a week. This made me very happy as well. So today it was a good day. I feel disgusting though. I would say I had at least 30 spin uh, spinach rolls, at least, um, because I finished all the leftover spinach rolls. That's the thing, that's why I can't make spinach rolls that often because I will eat them until they're gone. It's like me and puzzles. Like I can't 
start them unless I can fully commit to finishing them because nothing will exist. I also do want to mention, I've never worked um, with lo-fi music before. Now that I feel like my ADHD is like majorly kicking in these days for some reason and I'm getting so antsy and it's so hard for me to focus, maybe I just need something in the background and the lo-fi music really, really helped me because I sat down after I last talked to you and worked until I was done. That never happened. So I worked until around like four and then I took a nap and then I ate more spinach rolls, walked the dogs and then sat my ass in front of a TV for a couple hours. But yeah, I don't know what it is about it, but I am very impressed with myself. I feel like I had a really, really productive day yesterday or today. I promise I will shower tomorrow. I will change out of these and I might wash my hair, though I don't think I will, but we're going to do two out of three.